Hello, this is Mike again from Scratch. Welcome to a quick tutorial on setting up IntelliJ for Lua or Love 2D development. Now, IntelliJ is one of my personal favorite IDEs out there, and this will give you uh, the ability to run your application from inside of IntelliJ, as well as uh, code completion and syntax highlighting. Unfortunately, it will not get you debugging. That's something I'm still working on, uh, but even that, that's enough of a win for me. I prefer to work in IntelliJ, and the nice thing is I can use IntelliJ, set it into presentation mode, and you can more easily see the code that I'm working on. So that's my personal accomplishment here. Um, if you're just looking for an IDE that has full support, debugging, etc., everything else, check out Zero Brain Studio. It probably is a better fit for you. But if you, like me, like using IntelliJ, uh, follow along. This will show you how to get it set up and configured. Now, there's gonna be a couple things you need to have installed to continue. Uh, you're gonna to have to have a Lua, in, uh, if you're gonna be working with Lua, you need to have a Lua SDK installed somewhere. Um, you need to have Git, a Git client of some kind, and you're going to need to download this plugin for uh, Love IDE plugin for Lua. So just come on in here. I'll give this link down below. I'll give all these links down below. And of course, you're gonna need IntelliJ IDEA, and I will link this as well. It's completely free in the community version, and we're gonna to need to extend it with Lua support. So let's go ahead and grab what we need here. I've already got um, Lua and Love installed. So there's Love, and there's Lua. I'm using 5.1 in this case. Um, now, next up, we need to grab this guy. So just come in here and grab uh, the archive, um, the Git directory, and then go to wherever you're going to bring it. So in my case, I'm gonna to go to D, C, D, dev, uh, and then git clone, and just bring that guy down. So that's available somewhere. It doesn't really matter where you put it. Just make sure that it is available to you. Now, fire up IntelliJ. Uh, this is the very first screen you're gonna see uh, after your, well, your first run, you're gonna get asked to take defaults or install plugins, whatever. But when you're done that, when you run uh, IntelliJ and it doesn't have a prior project to open, this is the starting screen you will get. And when you get here, go to configure. And we wanna configure plugins. And then go into browse repositories. So that was browse repositories right there. So I did that kind of quick. So go to plugins, browse repositories, and up here go Lua. And pick Lua and install it. Yes, so this is adding Lua support into IntelliJ. So that's exactly what we want. And we are now good to go. Okay, click close, click okay. It's gonna ask us to restart, let it restart. So now IntelliJ knows what Lua is, which is a good move. And now come in here, we're gonna create a new project now. All right, so it is, so we now have this Lua category over here. Click next. Uh, now, it's got two built-ins. Uh, I forget what Kahlua is, other than a drink, and Lua J is a Java version, but what I wanna do is add in normal Lua. Uh, so just browse to wherever you installed it. So in my case, D dev Lua 5.1, and then okay, and then okay. Uh, so now we have Lua available. Uh, we'll call this Lua demo, and we shall install this into a temp directory. All right, so we just created our brand new project. Now we need to um, bring in, uh, oh, shut up you. Uh, now we need to bring, oh, I screwed up. There's already a plugin in there. Oh yeah, that's gonna cause problems. That's why it was getting angry at me. All right, so that shouldn't have been there. Ignore that part. Okay, so now we've got a little project and now we need to go ahead and set up that um, love integration. So just go and head on back over here. We go to this guy, hit F4 for settings. Uh, this will bring us into our project. As you can see, uh, I need to locate Lua SDK and under class paths, we just add one more. And that is where we installed uh, our, all right, what did I call it? Oh, I need to do a refresh, come on. Love IDE plugin, all right. So add that guy, click apply, click okay. Uh, so now we should be able to just go ahead and make a project of any kind. So since we are using uh, love, it expects a file called main.lua to be in the main directory. So we'll just go ahead here, create a new Lua script. We'll call it main and I'll just give it this code. Very simple. Uh, here, I'll even get rid of the text input part. 
So there, we're just basically a hello world example. Uh, so now we need to go ahead and be able to run this guy. So we've got a Lua project, we've got it configured in theory. Uh, as, you will see, as you can see here, we're getting full markup. And if I come here and I go love, we get all of the code completion. So that's what adding that um, Lua IDE, sorry, the uh, love to ID IntelliJ plugin or whatever the heck it was called. Let me just go back and find it. Uh, D dev here, love IDE, IDEA plugin. That is what is giving us this code completion, which is so nice and useful. And that's no longer working. What did I break? Let's try this again. Love, there we go. So we got our nice code completion going on. Uh, very handy. I like having syntax highlighting. We're good to go. The only thing we don't have yet is the ability to run our code uh, directly from IntelliJ. And this is involving, so you go into the run configuration, go to edit configurations and click plus. So we're gonna create a new run configuration. Go on down to Lua script like so. Uh, name it, call it run my Lua, or we'll call it love script like so. And then there are a couple of things here that are not going to be intuitive. So first off, this is gonna try and love, run it with the love that we, do, sorry, with the Lua compiler that we used earlier. We don't want that. We actually wanna click this out and instead we give this the path to love. So path out to wherever you've installed the love SDK and give it the love exe. So this is the interpreter that's gonna be spawned by IntelliJ to run this. And then the last thing is that this is again, gonna be slightly unintuitive. Here it wants a script name. So obviously you would think you would pass in, uh, where did I say this guy, C temp. You think you would pass in that, but you don't. You actually wanna pass in just the directory name. And this is gonna piss IntelliJ off. So when I click apply here, we're gonna get a, oh, we didn't get the warning. Sweet, okay. Uh, a lot of times I got a warning down here basically saying uh, missing script or something like that. It didn't happen this day, so maybe we're good to go. I think we're good to go. All right, we will see what happens. So I now go ahead, go ahead, run. So up here I got run my love script, press boom. And there you go. You just ran it from IntelliJ. It spawned a copy of love2d and off it went to the races. So uh, that is the process of configuring in the IntelliJ IDE to work with uh, love and Lua. Um, again, this is the combination I'm gonna use. And the biggest reason why I like it, especially for doing tutorials, is I could come in here and go to presentation mode and tell me that's not incredibly readable. Uh, so that part is very nice. That's why I actually prefer to use uh, IntelliJ. And I like their tools, I know it. They've got nice refactoring tools, etc. But again, if you want full debugging support and all that, be sure to check out Zero Brain. I'll comment and leave that down in the comments down below too. Uh, so hope you enjoyed that. That was configuring IntelliJ to work with Love2D and Lua development. Uh, very handy combo. See y'all later.